everyone, it's Jackie from the Marengo Union Library here to show you how to do the adult craft um, for next week and that is screen painting. So in your kit you're going to get a canvas, all right, some glue, some different cups of paint, and some string, and these little bitty spoons that you're going to use to put the paint on there. Okay, so we need to prep our canvas. Even though the canvas is white, we need to prep it by putting paint on there, okay? And we need to make a special formula up, and that is to take some paint that I will send you home, and some glue, all right? So it's two parts paint, one part glue, and a little bit of water, okay? What you're going to do is you're going to put that on your canvas here. Let's see here. And you're going to spread it out. Now the beauty of this is we don't have to let this dry. In fact, we don't want it to dry. We want this to stay wet. So I'm just going to use this brush here. But you can use whatever paintbrush you have at home. Or you can use a plastic spoon to put the paint on. Let's see, take a little bit more here. Okay, so our white paint, like I said, is two parts of white paint, one part of glue, and then some water. Okay, so we want to make sure the whole thing is covered in this wet white paint. Okay. So the next thing you're going to do is you're going to pick the colors you want. Um, I'll send you home a few colors. Um, you can mix them up whatever way you want. So you're going to do is you're going to take again two parts paint, one part glue, and then some water, okay? And then you're going to mix it up. So I've done that with my pink paint here. And I'm going to use my spoon. And I'm going to, let me move this out of the way. There we go. And I'm going to put a line of paint across the top. Now you can pour it out if you want out of your cup. I found that actually using a little spoon gave me better control. And let's see, there we go. All right, that's my pink. And then I have my blue. You want the lines to be sort of, you don't want them touching initially. They will be touching eventually when you do your project, but you want to kind of have it so that the paint lines, and I will, hopefully you can see that without my picking it up. I'm afraid if I pick it up, I'm afraid all the paint's going to drip. But hopefully you can see that if you look closely. Maybe I can hold it up a little bit, see? All right, I've got two lines of paint already. And maybe some yellow might be pretty. So I'm gonna, okay, I've got my, my two parts paint and one part glue and a little bit of water just to thin it because you want the paint to be kind of on the thin side but not too runny that it drips. Let's see. I think I'll try some orange too. Let's see, I think I can use my white spoon. I'll wipe that off. Okay. All right, can everyone see that? Let me hold it up a little bit for you. There we go. The next thing we're gonna do is we're going to take some string. Okay, and I'm gonna lay it on there on top of my paint.
need some music in the background. I'm not sure what music I would be able to use with the licensing requirements. All right, okay. So then I'm maybe gonna kind of press it down a little bit. Now I also probably could maybe have a toothpick at home. So I'm just gonna kind of make sure that that is all the way into the paint. I tried different things. I tried twine. I tried um, some real thin string, and that seemed to work out pretty well too. Um, actually, this is the first time I'm using this cotton. It's like a cotton yarn. I tried regular acrylic yarn. Um, that just didn't seem to work as well. Okay. So the next thing you're going to do is you're going to use take a paper clip and unbend it okay and then you're going to try to catch the first one which in this case is the pink one just underneath there okay and then you're going to go all the way down can everyone see that there we go oops i think i figured i don't know how but i didn't catch that blue one so i'm going to go back and catch that blue one there we go all right and this is our design okay it's kind of fun it's very pretty how that just kind of blends too isn't it now if i leave this upright like this it's going to start to drip down so if you want that effect then maybe maybe when you allow it to dry you'll just kind of prop it up a little bit all right another way you can do it is to use some you can either use like chain, like a pull chain from a lamp, or I'm using some some beads, some Mardi Gras beads. And I thought I would just try that as long as we're here. All right, just kind of put that in there. Okay, and then I'm gonna pull that uh, through it. That also is another way you can do it too. All right. Okay, so there's our project. Um, I thought also it'd be kind of fun to try another one that I saw. Um, that maybe you have the supplies at home for. If you have leftover paint, you can certainly do that. And what you do is you take an old water bottle and you cut it off and you wanna make sure it's flat. And again, your same thing to do, you're gonna put the canvas, you can make sure your canvas is Freshly painted. I think the reason why I put this white paint on first is kind of I think it helps the paint kind of to spread easier. All right, I've done that. Okay, then I'm going to put my water bottle and see it's got kind of like a shape to it. It's got some curves in there. You can use a pop bottle too if you wanted to. Okay, and then I'm going to take my blue paint first here. Oops. Don't think I mixed that up real well. There we go. Okay. Now I'm going to try some yellow paint on top of there. I haven't tried this before, so I thought this would be kind of fun to do this together. Oops, it's kind of floppy. Perhaps I'm going to mix it up this time. I learned last time the yellow paint was kind of gloppy because I hadn't mixed it thoroughly before I poured it. Okay. And then I'm going to try some pink. Again, I'm going to stir it up and put that over there. See how it kind of runs down the sides there? All right, now I'm going to take this off. There we go. Let me see if I can show you how that looks, see? Whoops, <laughs> the blue ran off, okay? 
but then we're gonna take a piece of paper and put the paper on there. And actually, we're doing this project on the canvas, but by putting the paper on there, we're able to kind of spread out the paint, but keep kind of that abstract design, all right? So, possibly, when we take the paper off, you'll have two projects. You'll have the paper design and you'll also have the canvas. All right, let me move this out of the way so that you can see. All right, let's see what the paper looks like. Ooh, looks like a rainy day, doesn't it? All right, and then this was my canvas, all right? Again, probably gonna wanna let it uh, lay flat. Or if you want some more colors at the top, you could also hold it this way for a little bit till it kind of drips down and then lay it flat so it can dry, okay? So those are a couple different ideas that you can use um, with your canvas that I'm gonna send you home and the paint and the glue. All right, so you have at it to um, use your imagination. Now, the great thing about, about canvases is that after it dries, if you don't like it, you just paint over the canvas, okay? Which is actually what I did. Both of these are reused canvases. They previously had a, um, a different design on there. So I painted them first, um, let it dry, and then I put the white paint again when I was ready to, to redo my project. So again, it's just, uh, just have fun, you know? Um, maybe some string art or you can even try, what did, oh, here's my water bottle. Or you can even use an old water bottle or a pop bottle. So just have fun, okay? All right, thanks so much for joining me. And I hope you'll be able to send me, um, send pictures of your project because everyone's project is gonna be different, I'm sure. All right, thank you so much for joining me, bye-bye.